Hello, welcome back to Blend Sushi Live Noding. In this video, I'm gonna do something that's a little bit different. It's uh, actually just um, to answer one of a uh, Reddit user how you how to actually enlarge um, like a GIF image without losing the resolutions. It's actually really really basic, but I want to answer it um, using using Blender anyway. Um, uh, so yeah. The process is actually super simple. If you download Blender and the one I'm using is a uh, Blender 2.78B, um, and you, this is for like a super beginner Blender user. Um, first of all, the fact is Blender is actually a 3D software, so you might be surprised that you can actually do this using Blender because Blender actually have a compositing mode. And that's something that I will work on for this, uh, how to enlarge this uh, GIF image. I actually download the, the animated one and then the, the, there's a the static one at the bottom. The one at the bottom is actually 1000 by 1000 pixel. It's actually quite large already. But if you want to enlarge it like to uh, like a 4000 by 4000 pixel or even more, you can do that using Blender. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close Safari. Okay, back to back to Blender. I will switch to from Blender render to Cycles render to make it uh, much simpler. And I'm gonna delete everything in the scene. I'm gonna tap A and tap X and delete. Okay, I'm deleting everything. And the next thing I will do is simply to go to File, Import, Images as Planes. And I'll go to here and then I'll make sure I'll select my file first. Go to the desktop and find my Reddit artwork, um, Reddit place static. And I'll make sure the material setting for cycles is set to emission. And then import images as planes. Okay, now we have this image the images might be somewhere else in 3D space. If you want to center it, you can tap Alt G. That's actually resetting the position. The position you can actually uh, reset manually from here as well. Okay, now we have this uh, plane in the 3D. If you render this out, um, if you want to see the preview, you can actually use the texture and then you can have a look at this guy. If you scale it now, and I scale it like really big, like 50 times, and then you try to render it out, it's gonna be blurry by default, slightly blurry. Yeah, that's actually the default. But uh, if you go to cycles material, you go to the compositing, and here you select while selecting the object, you go to the material nodes, and then you look at this guy, and then you have this bunch of nodes uh, you can work on but there's one option here that makes a big difference it's actually the this one by default it's <coughs> by default it says to linear if you set this to set this interpolation to closest you won't get that kind of blurring anymore so it's gonna be really like a uh, super sharp and no matter you if you enlarge this to 10 million by 10 million pixels this will still work without any problem so yeah uh, currently it's actually rendering in real time cycle is actually like uh, physically based so you 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 need to it takes a few seconds until it renders the whole thing it's gonna you're gonna get super sharp pixels uh, anyway for this gif if you just want to render it out as, as an image you want to set up a camera so you want to go to top view maybe and then you create a camera. I'll I'll just uh, shift. I'm gonna do shift A and then select a camera. And then from this view, I'm gonna um, align my view um, active camera to view. So uh, now I'm looking through the camera. Okay. By default, the camera is actually set to whatever render setting you set here. The, this is the resolution of uh, by default. 1920 by 1080 pixels you can use this but since 
and now I can arrange this. I'm I'm holding shift while middle clicking, just to do the panning. Um, a quick way to do this, you can also use auto graphic on the camera, and then simply scale the auto graphic, scale the image auto graphically until it fits. I think there's a shortcut to fit the camera exactly to the bounding of the image, but I think I'm I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I guess shift drag. Um, I think shift drag. Actually, shift drag, and you're out of the camera. You go to view camera, active camera again. I probably need to shift it right here now. Yeah, I think that should work. Well, anyway, if you render this now, just by clicking the render button here, it will be the result will be like super sharp image. Unless I did it wrong and I might need to set this to actually I need to look at it from 100% so zoom one to one so this is actually pretty sharp hit escape there's another way if you want if you don't want to work in 3d you can do this uh, easier actually by using the compositor so blender has a compositor mode like i said and if you switch to compositing nodes and set it to use nodes you can simply pipe in your image into this guy um, and if you want to scale it you can use you might be thinking like, yeah like use scale node but scale node doesn't have the interpolation so you want to use actually you want to use transform node and set this to nearest and by doing that if you look at the compositing if I try to render this now uh, let me stop this and render image This should be coming from the compositing, I believe, and we can adjust the image this way. I think this is probably easier after all. You simply set the the size here, like uh, I'll make it like three thousand. Should be. It might be slower. I'll render it again. Okay, that's what we get um, but you can easily scale this like 10 times or whatever and then adjust the X and Y of the image from here you will get a super sharp image because you set it to nearest so this is probably easier than using the cycles and render but anyway if you want to do 3d uh, you can use blender to do that compositor is actually better suited for this task so yeah see it's like super sharp and you can save this image as whatever you like okay so that's how if you want to scale um, any GIF image the hard way uh, using Blender like I said this Blender is of course uh, 3D software so if you ever wanna render your GIF um, in 3D and you wanna put a monkey head for example You can use Blender for that. Um, I'll probably turn off the background, and this guy, this guy is self-emitting. I believe I need to. Maybe I can increase the emission strength.
there you go monkey head and ready to place as uh, the light it's probably too strong now but uh, anyway that's uh, how you do it if you want to do it the hard way this is how blender is there if you want to scale your gif but if you want to render 3d you can of course do it this way okay hopefully you find this useful okay this is supposed to be like for beginner if you found anything that's uh, 